Hello. I'm gonna do just a super quick reading. I'm a little sick. I knew I was gonna get sick just from the amount of um, stimulation and, and emotional exertion and expenditure without having the time to recharge. And I've just turned this into something of a retreat, really. You know, I'm not, I'm just having the deepest, best sleeps, stretches of sleep. It's so needed. And I've been doing a lot of really intentional clearing for different parts of my body and just allowing myself to be sick. It's interesting, a lot of people are just like, well, what have you tried, this, this, and, you know, it, for me, it's not always about getting absolutely 100% better as quickly as possible because my body just needs to be not doing anything for a minute, as well as, like, you know, my mind, and it just felt like with the level of congestion in my head, all of my sensory information input holes were like, no more. She's not gonna look at anything else, not gonna hear anything else, not gonna say anything, not, not gonna go on my phone and like, you know, go through old videos and make little shorts or something to entertain myself, no. And, and no other people, just the, the energetic recalibration is huge. I understand why it's happening right now. Um, Happy Beltane, such a nice time of year. Current energy right now. What is it that I wanna share based off of what I've been feeling collectively from my recordings? And oh, I did a written post for the community page. Uh, okay. So I'm getting, I got a little bit of a message about breaking in the saddle. Something about the way that things are picking up is something that we know how to work with a little bit better. Or there's also this, there's something less jarring about what it is that we're going through because like riding a horse, a saddle, right? Leather goods breaking in. Leather that is starting to soften is a really nice feeling and thinking about leather goods. I'm just thinking about all sorts of things like gloves or like belts and different um, holsters and stuff. Nice leather that becomes part of an object almost. Why am I talking about this? Yeah, our aptitude, regardless of how, how we came into these um, energies before eclipse season, that like maybe the beginning of March, we'll say. There's been this um, softening into the feeling of what it is we're working with. The changing energy is the leather. <laughs> we're softening it. But the amount of force and, like, you know, um, energy that you have to maintain in your body to ride a horse or like ride a motorcycle properly is is the same even if you start feeling more natural at it my lights are flickering or that it did when i was saying that that's the message that i'll just start out with from my guides and we'll see where we go from there it's the current energy it's the nine of wands Standing firm. Can you maybe not, Kitty? Stop it. <laughs> Cat is stealing things off of my table. Stop it. Wounded warrior energy. Protect. I feel like it's a response to what I was just talking about. Like having, having to adjust to the changing seasons and the changing way that people's lives have kind of jostled them up and down and it's just like a sinking into 
a protected space where it's just like meh <laughs> I feel like this because I don't have much option when you get sick you're kind of just like at the mercy of what you need to do you, to, to get better um I secretly am feeling very you know blessed and happy that I get to be completely alone and have this time to rest even though it's uncomfortable because I I like just sort of like nursing myself back to health and letting oh my gosh just the meditative quality of my um solitude uninterrupted for just days on end is I would have paid to have this experience <laughs> and it's just that I haven't I haven't been alone for uninterrupted days on end like this in a very long time and I'm a person who needs that more regularly so I guess I relate to it just a little bit because it's sort of this like stubborn like immovable energy um what's the energy to embrace though the world the world it's like it's like this beautiful midpoint of picking up steam but not in a main vein way in a all of the surrounding elements that hmm yeah i mean for people like me who don't have a lot of earth in their chart when we hit this point in the calendar i'm like holy crap i remember how to sink into practical <laughs> ways of doing things like i'm so responsible and like slowed down and connected <laughs> because the Taurus energy is something that I just kind of skip over. I, I have a hard time existing fully in the 3D material world, I think. You know, I think a lot of people who are water signs or have a lot of crazy placements like that that aren't Earth know what I'm talking about. It's hard to stay and feel fully um, grounded or at least maybe you're not, you know, dissociate, dissociated, you're grounded in your body, but as far as executing things and getting things done and moving things along there's something beautiful about this completion right now where we're finding ourselves wrapping things up in a really really grounded way and we're like in touch with these not like you know not the main message of whatever it is we're fo focusing on in life right now but all the other stuff in the picture if you were to think about a composition it's not the focal point it's all of the other details and that's equally as important equally as important and we can also argue that it's some of the stuff we've been neglecting trying to move ahead for the past few months so this is a really necessary touchstone so much stuff cl clearing out cleaning up and clearing out you might have an opportunity to say to, to decide things for yourself that you're not going to keep doing certain things or that you are going to start doing new things. And you may, you may not feel you may not have felt this way, you know, just recently, but all of a sudden we're going through these massive waves of endings. So what's the energy for starting in this passage at the new moon for the next two weeks till the end of the month? Like energy in the release position. The, the grueling hard work of it all. Interesting, because we move into the physical you know, season and we, we come into an earth sign. I need a clarifier for that. I'm gonna take it from the middle of the deck. <sighs> Mm. it's the ace of swords yeah there's been a really big level up so with the cycles that I've just completed it's like there's been ways of doing things that have been productive for um, a certain amount of time but <laughs> that those ways are kind of like done after for, for me it's whenever I get back out there into the world after this like hibernation like I'm seeing this as a very timely little break that I've been like forced into and I can feel I'm I, I would not be very happy I accidentally was out in the world on Tuesday morning doing things and sort of kind of just ended my day early because I wasn't feeling well and I went home I felt very very prickly very sensitive very like uh 
like a like a very thin latex water balloon like ready to pop at any moment and it not not in like a volatile um way but this way that would feel like I felt fragile I guess <laughs> strangely fragile and it it feels it feels like a time energetically that I would want to hunker down for other people might understand what I mean by that if you don't that's okay of course go out there and prosper and be in the world but um I was just feeling super um overstimulated and again it's just what I think happens to me if I don't have enough time to be alone for enough uninterrupted hours and it was just getting to a point I think <laughs> I had like so many days of just waking up every single day and going out to do things again and see people again and get things done again and then just sleeping and getting back up and doing it again and it's just it was just um yeah another thing I love about this season is that it reminds me to slow down not needing for things to be all about there's been a, a big overhaul in what I would call masculine healing or the understanding of priorities and execution and how you really do hold priorities in plain sight, right? You have, we, ha we all have our allegiances and we cannot lie to ourselves and we have to just think about how we spend our, our time and our energy and how we, you know, connect and why we spend time and energy on the things that we do and if that's really what we want and there's been a lot of cycles of being asked to examine and reconfirm those selections repeatedly and as a result we've been molting through different iterations of that getting from a place that we were that we don't really recognize anymore and getting into new territories and so now we're at this place where we're releasing this this tired way of generating results, even though we've learned a thing or two about how we thought results get generated and what we actually can do. Like what the capacity of our power and our, our best looks like. Or maybe too, in a manifestation way, there's a new picture of what our best feels like. Something new to work towards that we didn't feel like we could see in, the, in a previous chapter. All right, what's the hidden energy? I'm gonna cut the deck here, it's chariot chariot what's underneath it just gonna clarify the queen of wands that's great there could be some type of what's underneath the queen of wands justice some type of excellent collaborative opportunity or something quickly changing within your situation that puts you you know just like swiftly into a situation of being really confidently on top of something that you have been bringing in or moving towards that you deserve. What's the biggest advice? No, what's the biggest obstacle and sticking point? Obstacle and sticking point. <laughs> All right, the obstacle is the five of swords, the sticking points, the six of swords. It's a little story, same guy, same sky almost, right? It's just this kind of path and this choice. Biggest obstacle is this kind of like stuckness and feeling like for me, it would be like, I just get this feeling of feeling like lazy and like kind of gross when I'm not in my normal flow and I'm not like, and by that I mean like of like <laughs> bathing and doing things. Like I really have felt um, really, really exhausted. And I was so congested the first two days that I like couldn't even see out of my face or anything. I was just like, 
can't can't do much of anything and I don't like feeling like that but it's that's not really up to us that's how it was so whatever that is for you right now the not liking it there's something about it that's going to get us to go somewhere that we're being asked to go right now for me it's the place of quiet that I've been denying on accident I need to never I'm such a hypocrite I, I record all these readings I'm like don't let your cart and your horse do the little far away and then clarify this message with this card here Uh, it's the King of Swords. Yeah. So Five of Swords, Six of Swords, and then this one being King of Swords. It's mastery with understanding how things are threaded together, right? King of Swords is a master of, like, quick wit and logic and understanding. And being able to turn understanding into wisdom and communicate only that which is necessary from a place of knowing but not needing others to know but still attempting to communicate for the betterment of all parties involved there's something about this energy that feels a little bit more juvenile where we're where we're in right now but we're allowing ourselves to know that we've undergone a really big transformation and we're shifting, moving states, shifting states of matter right now. For me, that's literally within the walls of a chrysalis where like I have become goo. It's 74% mucus, like 22% melted ice cream and the other percentage is a mystery combination that we won't talk about. I'm reshaping into what I need to, and I've actually been doing affirmations and prayers and feeling into you know my body and allowing myself to change shape right now, metaphorically, and then in you know the 5D, in my arrows of intention of what I'm shaping and how I'm crafting my own timeline as I really do. Like I haven't had the experience of removing myself from being out and engaging with people i haven't been able to do that i think that's a luxury i think it's a luxurious thing to, to not to just be able to not have to go anywhere or do anything at all it took a couple days but i just completely slowly dissolved away from the phone and just left it and that was the kind of slowness that I needed to be reminded of. And so there's something about <coughs> this transition into Taurus season that brings us back down to the pace of Mother Earth and Mother Nature. 